going on guys a few weeks ago I did a video on how to put some size and some thickness into your back by attacking your lats so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to you know go for aesthetics so more shreds so more cut and our backs is basically divided into three parts when it comes to aesthetics you want to attack your rear delts your rhombus your traps and your lats so your rhombus and your traps are basically a part of one massive muscle group I kind of classify them as one major muscle group you know together today we're gonna to be doing some cable exercises and some dumbbell exercises just for flexibility depending on what you have you do whatever workout you can do you know what let's get right to it if that kind of stuff interests you the first back aesthetic workout I'm going to show you guys is the wide lat pull downs three to four sets eight to twelve reps okay this mainly targets the lats muscle so the wings basically Here's a tip for you guys. You want to maintain a wide grip for full effectiveness when doing wide lat pull downs. You also want to maintain a row in motion and do not begin to swing the bar. Lift with your lats, not your biceps. It, it is common to lift with your biceps when doing lat pull downs. Next up, we've got some close grip cable rows. You want to do this for about three to four sets, eight to 12 reps as well. Okay, here's a tip for you guys. Bring the V cable all the way to the abs region and every rep for full effectiveness. You also want to make sure that you're squeezing your entire back muscles on every repetition. This workout mainly targets the lats as well, but it also hits the rhombus, the traps, and a lot more, you know, back muscles. Up next here, I'm going to be talking about the reverse delt cable flies. Three to four sets, eight to 12 reps. This mainly targets the rear delt muscle. So this is a muscle that most people don't target or aim for because you know, most workouts don't hit them but you wanna, you wanna aim for it. So set one cable above the other and pull one cable over the other one as you exercise, you know, to properly squeeze those delts. Here's another tip for you guys. Set the cable machine to between 10 to 30 pounds to start. It's a lightweight exercise and hits your muscles. You know, it's their tender muscles. So tip, fully extend arms and flex upper back for full effectiveness. So you wanna make sure that you're fully extending your arms and squeezing your back for this workout. Up next here, one of my favorites for targeting the lats is the cable lat crunches. Three to four sets, eight to 12 reps per side. Okay, here's a tip. You wanna make sure that you're crunching with your lats and not your biceps. So pull the cables in with your lats crunching at the same time. Okay, the main target muscle on this one is also the lats. sure that you're setting the cable machine to a lightweight amount so 10 to 30 pound is what I would advise do not forget to make sure that you're crunching with your lats very important this is a tricky exercise to complete correctly and a lot of people will not complete it correctly a lot of people will complete this with the biceps squeezing instead of the lats squeezing so it's a tricky workout but like I said it's absolutely amazing for building your lats you know when it comes to aesthetics okay for our first dumbbell workouts we're going to be doing some reverse delt flies seated three to four sets eight to twelve reps Here's a tip for you guys. Keep a little bend in your elbows and squeeze your traps and your upper back during each rep. 
This mainly targets your traps, your rear delts, and your rumbus. Your rumbus and your traps are basically a part of your trap. Here's another tip for you. Use lightweight dumbbells for this one because their tender muscles you're hitting 10 to 40 pound will suffice. Next, we've got another variant of the reverse delt flies, this time with our thumbs in. Three to four sets, eight to 12 reps. You wanna make sure that you're starting or you're using lightweight dumbbells, so anything between 10 to 40 pound dumbbells would suffice as well. Here's a tip for you guys. Keep a little bend in your elbows and squeeze your traps and your rear delts on each repetition. The main target muscles here are your traps, your rear delts, and your rumbus, again. It mainly focuses on your delts, by the way. So we've got a hybrid here, a close and wide dumbbell row. Three to four sets, eight to 12 reps. You wanna use some lightweight dumbbells for this exercise as well, 10 to 40 pound like the last one. wider alternative focuses on your lats, your traps, your rear delts, and your rumbus. While the other one basically focuses on the same except it doesn't really focus on your lats as much as the other one. Okay, here's a tip for you guys. Bring the dumbbells together until they're touching, then bring up the ab level when doing the close variation. Okay, here's a tip for the wide variation. You want to keep the dumbbells along your sides and fully extend your arm upwards until you feel tension in your back muscles. Okay, up next we've got some more rear delt flies, but this time we're going to be standing and we're going to be using dumbbells. 3 to 4 sets, 8 to 12 reps as usual, especially when you're, you know, training for hypertrophy, which also means aesthetics. Okay, the main target muscles are the rear delts, the rombus, the traps, and the lats on this one as well. Here's a tip for you guys. You want to make sure you extend arms all the way until you feel your back squeeze. So every single rep, you got to feel that back squeeze. Here's another tip. Make sure you're using lightweight dumbbells for this one because it's going to be really tough if you try to go, you know, towards the 60 pound range. Make sure to implement some of these workouts with the workouts from building size in your lats video. If you haven't already seen that, make sure to check that out as well. The video link should be at the top of the screen right now. If you made it to this point of the video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you have any questions or just wanted to say hello, make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. it helps my channel grow. If you enjoy content like this and want to watch more, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now. And I will catch you guys in my next video. It's Midas and I am out, y'all. Ha, ha, ha.